Hello friends, today I am offering you a topic that is First World Urea Conference 2024 under the mega serial Kichi Kotha Kichi Kavita. The first poem is entitled First World Urea Conference 2024 First World Urea Conference 2024 has begun a press with festive smile in temple city of Bhuvaneswar pervaded by appreciation and understanding of Oriental literature, arts, music, and crafts. Its philosophical process of thought has a defined splendor, worldly brotherhood is its ideal, everlasting and worldly growth of Oriental literature is its motto. Every Oriya lover hugs this feeling of elation in the secrecy of their own hearts. An infinite gift has come to the hands of Oriya people in a fresher gladness of awakening and their hearts dance in joy with varied cadence in dreams and in wakeful hours. First World Oriya Conference 2024 has come alive with fresh life and has kindled the light of new hope and new aspiration. In many exulting hearts, in every exuberant mind, and their voice of hilarity has poured down in golden streams, breaking through the sky, drunk with the beauty of striking decoration and cordial hospitality. The hearts inviting guests, the hearts inviting guests and researchers from inland and abroad lose their limits in joy and give birth to overwhelming happiness. First World Oriya Conference 2024 has come fairly new with the, with the dream of the sudden magnificence. All the lights ablaze. They shine like a pure flame. The conference continues with noise and shouts and with the glimmer of glory mingled with the great music of the world, filling the whole environment with the perfume of promise, promise to enrich the Oriya language aloft in global basis in the fullness of time. What a heavenly gift is this of world Oriya Conference, we find no place to where to hide it. In this day of a spice, the cool sky is flushed with that dawn, and the paths lie beautiful. Thank you. My next poem entitled 
Beautiful is the decoration. Beautiful is the decoration. Splendid is artistry. Perfectly poised by Oriya culture and heritage. Admirable to behold or to think of. Scientists, researchers, scholars, participants from inland and abroad watch and muse in wonder when they press it to their bosoms. Beautiful is the preparation wrought in myriad colored jewels. Blameless is its vitality. Fanciful is its outlook. The whole world with eyes concentrated at the land Jonathan platform, the capital city of Bhuvaneswar, and staying in amusement with all its twinkling stars. In this dim international Oriya conference of learning about of absolute literariness. Beautiful is the prologue. Boisterous is its place of wisdom. Enchanting is its uprightness. Outstanding is its moral excellence that teaches us all the good lessons we ever we ever learn that guides us all the day long to the mysteries of Oriya culture and current issues. Beautiful is the environment in this playhouse of infinite forms. The spring has down its Towering. The waves have become clamorous. The woodlands have hushed their songs. The leaves rustle overhead. The cuckoo sings from the ancient dark. And perfume of babel flowers come from the bend of every path. Every participant has tested of the hidden honey of this lotus that expands on the ocean of light, having a grand success. Thank you. My next poem entitled Atiti Bhavatu. O holy soil of Tet Orisa. We, the scientists, researchers, participants, scholars, world around have got our final leave. Be this happy farewell. Dear Oriya brothers and sisters, we heartily acknowledge the applause we bow our heads submissively before your cordial hospitality and take our final departure with full vessel of outstanding impression. All our sweet memories, vivid experience, all earning and Cleanings of our busy seasonal schedule, we convey with us as a token of testimony. We all are world people bound by heavenly brotherhood. Nevertheless, we have received more than we can give. 
again at UGN. The stars will watch in night. Morning will rise at before, and hours will keep like sea waves, casting up teaser and pen. But our returning journey will be worth remembering, entitled to high recognition. O oh, most beloved Chief Minister, Mr. Novin Portnoy, what a heavenly gift, Korean hospitality, that is friendly and generous reception. We have offered to us. We find no place where to hide it or to store it. We, the delegates, are bound with you all forever. Indeed, a perfect sweetness has bloomed in the depth of our own heart with a fresher gladness of awakening. We are thus blessed. O oh, the honored hosts, our eyes have seen, our eyes have seen your extremely good cultural programs. Our ears have heard your melodic course. Our hearts are filled with joy by your dynamic enterprise. Have every day a good day. Have taken pleasure in Oriani cooking salubrious food of varied liking tastes of predilection of appetizing flavor, O oh, host of endless days, you have, a, you have enshrouded us fully with your nobleness. At the Othiti Bhavatu, you have enshrouded us fully with your nobleness. Othiti Bhavatu, we are indeed indebted to you all forever. Thank you.